Okay, so starting with the quarter panel, the few things to note is you should align your door to fit uh, just where this lines up here. Do your door gaps, get everything fit right. I'm in a different situation because the last guy put this aftermarket quarter panel on and he didn't do a very good job fitting everything. So if you look here, he kind of cut everything in here and he put the joint up here and then he didn't fit this in very well. It's not even welded in. It's got a, you probably can't see it in the camera, but it's at least, let's say an eighth of an inch gap in back there. It wasn't fit very tight. And also the cheaper stampings, like this end doesn't even line up. Like it's higher by a considerable amount. The, the original door is is higher than this edge the way they welded it. So in. I lined up this with the factory part. This is higher, that's fine. I can't do the door gap because of how poor the quarter panel fit and alignment was. That's all I can do. I thought something interesting, I also changed the door hinge from one of my earlier videos. And if you look at this one, it actually has a big crack right down the hinge. Both of them are cracked and reamed out. It's uh, pretty sloppy. So I'm happy I bought the aftermarket lower hinge at least. So now I'm going to go back and I'll probably cut along here through to the trunk line, which probably in here somewhere. And then I'll divide, I'll take the little chunks off after and I'll show you guys that. All I'm doing is just using, uh, I'm using MAP gas, but propane works just fine. It just takes a little bit of heat, you heat it up. And I'm just using a little steel brush to clean it out as I go. So. Well ventilated area, got the garage door open, and uh, here we go. So you just kind of heat it up here. I'll, I'll actually grab the camera just to show you guys. So you just heat it up a bit. Doesn't take long. Just a bit. I'm trying to see it puddling already. So if I had one extra hand here, I would just remove it. That's it. All right, so I'm gonna show you these spot weld cutters. So these are from uh, Blair. Uh, this one is the 5 16 cutter. So this is what you get in there. You get three uh, spot weld cutters. They're almost like annual cut, annual annular cutters. And you get the little the arbor and a little nail there that goes in the end here, uh, just to keep you centered punched after you center punch the spot weld. So that's 5 16. I haven't used that one. This is the 3 8. Same thing, just a little bit bigger. Uh, cutter. So this one here uh, is the only one I've used so far. I haven't gone through one. I drilled that whole side off plus the trunk floor. Um, everything, wheel wells, everything. So I'm going to keep using this one. It's starting to get a bit roached. But uh, I'm going to go until it doesn't work. Okay, so I just brushed them off here with the wire brush. And you can see the divot where the spot weld holds on so what I did was I center punched it and then I just drilled this thing won't focus but anyway I just drilled a small hole in there just for this um, pin there to sit in I find it just locates it better and then this little annular cutter will cut that out um, I will try to show all the spots that have spot welds but I might miss some anyway there's a whole row right down through here that holds this uh, trunk panel in back here. So I will be doing that and then maybe just before I get it off I will uh, record
record another little piece here. Uh, I was going to take it off up here, but these trunk rails are getting changed anyway. So, uh, I'm not going to do that. Uh, really, once I get this corner off, um, I'll probably I'll probably make a cut here with the angle grinder and zip cut and just cut up and cut along there to a point and I'll cut around the roof line just to alleviate getting it off and then I'll take the pieces off after. Alright so I'm just going to drill one out here just to kind of show you guys. So I'm just putting that into that uh, partially drilled hole and that's it. I will cut as deep as I want to go until uh, I do all the rest because it's not going to free up just because I undid one. So I'm going to uh, do a whole bunch more here and then I'll record again. Okay, I did change my cutter just because um, it cuts so much cleaner, nicer, uh, so it cuts down on the time. But <clears throat> this is what it looks like. So. So once in a while, like you'll get them to pop right off. It just you can see there's like a little rust spot underneath there, and um, yeah. So I drilled some on this side just to get it out. I think it's easier to hide the spot when it's on the inside of the trunk than it is on the outside. I'm just trying to get this piece separated from this trunk piece. But there are a few areas that I'll have a bit of trouble with. But that shows you what it is. And uh, what I will do is grab a screwdriver. Drilled that down. I had missed one spot weld there, but just pry it up. You can see it moving already. It comes pretty easily to get going. So I'm going to take my time, and I don't mind prying against the panel that's coming off because I have a replacement here. And I'll take my time and remove this panel from it. It is glued in with the, some kind of seam sealer or something here, or over top of. But I'll take my time and then I'll show you guys again. So I pried it. Actually, it came apart pretty easily. I took a bigger screwdriver and just come in here and hammered, and it uh, pretty well separated here. So if you take your time, it comes right apart. So everything's separated. You can see it. You can see everything kind of moving here. I want to bend it because this is the old panel. And um, hopefully keep the stuff I want to tie into straight. So that's kind of everything I'm going to do all the way around. I'm going to separate as much as I can the old stuff and sometimes you just can't help it but to bend the stuff you have to tie into you just have to remember to straighten it out after. Okay the quarter panels off now and just showing you that I lifted this. Is this a little bit holding it on in here? Um, I think it's in this seam sealer joint, so I won't remove that just yet. So I left this piece on, so we're gonna cut this off. So inside here, there's a few uh, spot welds to remove. I'll get this cleaned up and I'll show you guys. And there's a few to have removed. So the last guy who did the quarter panel didn't do this top part here because he didn't have the full quarter so I'm going to drill these out. Other than that, that's all that's holding this in. So if you look up here, there's this little support right here. Uh, they say it's a stress relief panel, uh, meaning it braces the corner of the quarter panel in here. So it, it gets spot welded back underneath the window. So I'm going to remove all these little pieces now just to get it finished up uh, for the new installation so take this back corner I'll take that out <clears throat> so 
so obviously if you're doing the whole quarter panel mine was this aftermarket thing you'll have spot welds here spot welds along the bottom pardon me of the trunk extension all inside the wheel well you'll have this quarter panel will spot weld back at the flange and there is a factory leaded seam in here that this car doesn't have anymore because somebody put aftermarket rocker panels in it which I will keep um, so as well all the spot welds along here need to get fixed I'm changing this piece because of the patch here these guys You have to remember to save this piece, like that stress panel, I'll take it off in chunks, I'll cut this up ahead of here, up here, and then I'll take it off there, and I'll cut it once it's off, so that it comes off on its own. And I'm going to cut this here initially, just down along here, cut the old quarter panel off. And again, spot welds in the window well. And there is a flange right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. This flange here will have spot welds on it to take off. And that's where the new quarter panel fastens as well. So that's what I'm going to do next. Is just show you guys all that. And yeah, so I'm gonna drill out the spot welds and then I'll videotape after the fact just to show you guys so this one <clears throat> when I change the floor I never welded it back in because I'm gonna replace it so you'd have to take these guys off and then it fastens up along this seam and again back here it fastens to these trunk panels and that but we're I'm gonna take this off in one piece and put the new ones in so I'll show you guys and then later in a later video we'll get to removing this wheel well <clears throat> pardon me is there spot welds up here again I didn't have to contend with that because buddy didn't the last owner spot weld these back on but you can see when he drilled out the old ones and then he did booger weld uh, this back flange to the trunk extension which I cut off and for today I just cut it down here since I'm changing this outer wheelhouse uh, I cut it here and then I'm going to take the inner out. So in here, this is the removed quarter panel here. There's always a couple spot welds in this corner that are difficult to see. And I didn't quite get them. And then one, two up here. But just to show you, the quarter panel goes on before the roof. So the roof is the last piece on. So that's why I'm just going to cut this here. I'm not going to worry about trying to separate that out. And if you're cutting through here, so this is the full flange from the roof, don't cut into this support. And the only other thing I have left to get out is this piece here. So this is that tang off the original quarter panel in the AMD unboxing video I made. It shows that, uh, that little tang or tab that I cut off on the other side, just on the quarter panel side. Mainly because it's a pain in the butt to get it all in there while it's straight and everything. But like I said, I'm not a body man, so perhaps people could do a better job. So I just have, I think it's two or three spot welds to drill out on this support bracket. It's easier to put in after the fact than it is to leave it in there and hope it, hopefully you can hook everything in and place the quarter on. So that's what I'll do next I'll just show you that bracket once I get it off and I gotta clean up this flange here you have to take this off all right so I got this piece out so you can see underneath the tab there I had to drill out the spot weld it went through both pieces but what ended up happening is it broke that in two of those two spot welds which is fine by me I'll just drill them somewhere else it did get a bit more bent up than I would have liked and there was one lower that I ended up breaking off I guess went in uh, that spot there and then it had three spot welds that hold the quarter panel on I'll show you guys that so it had one here 
and these two guys here, this hole was just there. So he lined it up. So this slides into the quarter panel very much like that to support that corner so it doesn't crack. So that's that. I did have a few more issues here. I took this one off. You can see how many spot welds they have in there, quite a bit. And I ended up leaving this piece on. Only because they welded, they booger welded everything here. So what I might end up doing is just taking a saw and just cutting this off a little shorter just to get back to uh, some kind of fresh metal and then I'll separate off the old uh, trunk rail. So that's that. That's the quarter panel removal. I know some people are going to say that you should have the car leveled and all kinds of stuff like that, but level to what? Level the rocker, level the roof. What? Like every car has a different, a different uh, point, right? Different body lines, different. Nothing square. Anyway, uh, then I watched this other video on uh, just saying as long as you got the weight on where the vehicle should sit, like i.e. the wheels, suspension points, that's how the the vehicle's designed to carry the weight, so it's fine. And then when you put it back together, you're you're lining up to your door and that anyway. So as long as your door and your trunk and everything fit and line up, it should be good. And it works good go. on the other so side. So there will be a level. few more installments of fitting and all that stuff. But the next thing will be this wheel tub, and then I'll widen it, cut out the trunk or the floor that lets me widen it, and that'll be that.